The Red Cross has declared a national blood supply shortage for the first time ever. And new tonight, Fox 5's Megan Healy joins us live in Mount Hope to explain the reason for the shortage and the impact on local hospitals. Megan. Yeah, Kathleen, to put it into perspective, San Diego Blood Bank typically has seven days worth of all blood types, uh, but now they're currently facing just one day supply, and that seems to be the case a lot of places across the country. The COVID surge seems to be to blame for that uh, as part of the shortage. We need every single type right now. For the first time in a decade, blood supplies are critically low. As of today, we're at about a one day supply or less in most types when we like to keep a seven day supply on the shelf. According to the American Red Cross, 25% of hospital blood supply needs are not being met. The chief medical officer at Scripps Health says it's overwhelming. Just uh, two days ago, we had two patients that needed massive blood transfusions and we frankly didn't have enough. We had to start calling around to regional hospitals to say, please, can we have some blood so we can resuscitate these two patients? And at the same time, we had a heart patient who needed a blood transfusion. No longer armed with enough blood supplies, hospitals are fighting to continue operating and treating patients. We have to fix this. This is something, as an emergency medicine doctor, we're always taught resuscitation. It's that golden hour after a trauma. And if we don't have the blood to do that, lives will be lost. While this time of year is slow for donations, the Omicron surge is playing a role in the national shortage. We have individuals that are canceling their donation appointments because they're sick. And um, we have a lot of mobile drives that are canceling as well. And so that's just, it's the perfect storm. They are putting out a call for help, asking anyone to give a pint. My dad was a Marine and he um, gave blood and he told me what a good thing it was. And so I kept, kept it up. It doesn't hurt. And it's only about five, five, seven minutes. Yeah, and all blood types, Kathleen, are needed right now, especially O positive and O negative. And some good news just to entice people to sign up to donate. The American Red Cross will enter your name if you donate this month to uh, for a chance to win tickets to the Super Bowl in Los Angeles. So to find out how quickly you can make your appointment at a nearest location near you, we have those locations uh, on our website, fox5sandiego.com. Just click on this seat on tab. We're Reporting live in Mount Hope, Megan Healy, Fox 5 News. All right, a big prize being offered for uh, a big need. Megan, let's clear some things up here when it comes to the Omicron surge itself. When is it okay for people to go and give blood if they recently had COVID? Yeah, with all the cases surging right now, Kathleen, San Diego Blood Bank staff members say that if you have had COVID recently or have been exposed, it's best to wait 28 days before donating your blood. Boy, and that's a lot of lag time, especially when they need that blood now. Thank you so much. A really important story tonight. Megan Healy, thank you.